Hey everybody, welcome back to Drug Talk. As always, I'm your host, Gary Campbell. In today's video, we're going to be discussing a medication known as sodium bicarbonate. And before I talk about the medication itself, just keep in mind that this channel is for information purposes only, not to be used as a source for recommendations for your personal health care. Now, I've put together some slides to go over the information associated with sodium bicarbonate. So let's just jump right into it. So the first thing to discuss here would be the mechanism of action or how this medication works. So sodium bicarbonate can be used as a systemic alkalizer in that it increases plasma bicarbonate, buffers excess hydrogen ion concentration, and raises blood pH, thereby reversing the clinical manifestations of acidosis. It can also be used as an antacid in that it reacts chemically to neutralize or buffer quantities of stomach acid, but has no effect on its output. In terms of indications or reasons we prescribe this medication to a patient, well, we may see sodium bicarbonate used for severe diarrhea or indigestion. It can also be used sometimes for metabolic acidosis or for the toxicity of a drug. With respect to contraindications or reasons we would not be able to prescribe sodium bicarbonate, well, we wouldn't give this medication to a patient who has chloride loss by vomiting or from continuous gastrointestinal suction. And this medication would not be used with diuretics that produce hydrochloremic alkalosis. Now for some examples of dosing with sodium bicarbonate. So in the treatment of indigestion, we may see 1 to 4 tablets orally every 4 hours. The maximum would be 24 tablets per 24 hours. A patient could also use a different formulation and use 1 to 2 heaping capfuls in 1 half glass of cool water orally once every hour. In this form, with this formulation, the maximum would be 6 capfuls for 24 hours. When treating metabolic acidosis, if it's chronic, we may see an initial dose of 600 milligrams orally three times daily, and then we may increase to maintain serum bicarbonate levels at 23 millimole per liter or greater. This is clinical trial dosing. As with all medications, there are some side effects or adverse reactions that patients may experience while using sodium bicarbonate. Let's go over some of those here now. There's not really any common side effects to list with this medication, so we're just going to talk about some serious side effects, which may include cellulitis, skin ulcer, tissue necrosis, or metabolic alkalosis. All right, everybody, that's all we're going to talk about today with sodium bicarbonate. As always, I'm very thankful you took the time to come by and watch one of my videos. If you found the information valuable, you'd like to help grow this channel, remember you can like the videos, share the videos, most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's also some links in the description you can check out as well. So for today, take care.